Okay, before you watch this video, if you are sensitive to needles or blood or like doctor's office things, then once I get to the doctor's office, skip through until I'm out of the doctor's office. Just as a little trigger warning, okay? <laughs> Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. We're here. Today, I am getting... Breast augmentation. Breast augmentation and a BBL. My body will be so bodacious after today. Kim K who? I'm getting lip filler today. Dylan is also getting lip filler. <laughs> I just got back from my lip filler. I'm getting really nervous and sweaty. Maybe um, because we're sitting in the hot car. I know, but besides off. that, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm scared of needles. I'm scared of people touching my face. And I'm scared of how I will look. Anyway, TBD. What is that? Oh my god. Alright, so okay. maybe like 15 minutes. At the time of your appointment, I'll come grab you and wash your uh, lips off. And I'll take you to lunch. Okay? Thank you. I'm freaking out. You I'm panicking. You just ate a bowl of cottage cheese. I'm panicking. <laughs> she was like, is something wrong? You're doing great, sweetheart. Hello, everyone. So right now my lips are getting numbed. And then we're going I can't take my lips and then we're gonna go into the other room where she's gonna do it. Dylan's filming right now. Dylan came with me. So sweet of him. <laughs> okay, see you later. New room. I can have the pee. You have to poop? No. I'm so stupid. You're like very long right now. <laughs> You've taken up my whole screen. <laughs> Bro, <I was> <laughs> Face looks swollen. Okay, well I finished my procedure. Oh, oh, what have I done? <laughs> so I really feel like they are swelling by the minute. I can't really talk. My dog recognized me though, so that's good. He recognized me, so that's good. I don't think that different. Oh my. She goes, the nurse or the woman doing it, she goes, yeah, so you're swelling more than most people do. I'm like. Meanwhile, Dylan's like, so do you want to go to the beach later? He thinks I'm going to go out and about like this. However, so how I found out about this place, it's called Forever Ageless. It's in Newport Beach. I was on Instagram and one of my friends, Emily, I haven't seen her in years. We went to high school together. She, you probably can't take me seriously with this going on, but it's fine. She posted on her story and then I clicked on who she reposted it from and it looked like a place that would do lip filler and I've been wanting lip filler just as something to do, honestly. Just wanted to try it out. And I asked her, I was like, do you do lip filler and then blah 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 she like totally set it up for me set the appointment up totally hooked it up with everything and then once i got there and got in the room and everything emily and another girl tess who i also went to high school with the two of them were in there with me and dylan and the woman laura who was doing it she was very gentle she did a very nice job she said that i'm gonna keep swelling for like another 48 hours or so and then it'll start going down i got a full syringe 
syringe, which I was not planning on. I was just going to do, I mean, I did tell her, I was like, whatever you recommend. And she at first just said she would do a half syringe, but then as she kept doing it, she was like, you know what? I think you can do a full syringe. Sorry, this looks probably really gross and you probably can't even focus on what I'm saying because I look so interesting, but it'll only get worse. So just get used to it. It is now 7.45. I got my fillers done at 12.45. So it's been seven hours and I think the swelling's gone down a little, but as you can see, they still are swollen and they're bruising. I do feel in pain. Dylan is, we're going to his friend's house and I'm looking like this. Look at this muffin man over here. Okay, I think they're more swollen than they were earlier. Here's what I have to say. Getting your lips done, getting injections and Botox and everything is so normalized. I feel like people don't really talk about the pain unless I'm just a baby and I have really low pain tolerance, which is a total possibility. I do kind of have a low pain tolerance, but my lips feel like hard. Like I can barely move my mouth. And also, they feel bruised. Like, they feel how they look. But I have hopes that they will feel better. Hopefully tomorrow, hopefully the next day. She said that tonight will probably be when they look and feel the worst. And then, like, by tomorrow night and the next day, they'll probably be looking and feeling better. I feel so ridiculous right now. Okay, so now it's the next morning. I honestly feel like my lips might look worse. I feel like the bruising is a little more prominent. My lips feel better even though they might not look better yet. Yesterday they hurt pretty bad and then today they don't. So that's good. Also, I have Aquaphor everywhere. So if I'm just like looking rough, I know. But another thing I felt like I needed to say is I've already gotten comments including from my mom being like, your lips were fine before. I know they were. I know my lips were fine. This wasn't something that I was insecure about or something that I felt like I needed. I just like don't really see it as a big deal. And I think it's kind of fun. I mean, right now they're big, they're swollen right now, but I think it'll be like a fun little switch up. Also, I feel like say you are insecure about your lips and you want filler, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that goes for kind of everything. If there's something that you want to do to your body, it's your body. That being said, I don't think anyone needs anything, obviously. I think everyone is beautiful in their own ways. Everyone is unique and and has unique features. You know, you should totally be grateful and happy for how you look because no one looks the same and I think that that's really cool. But if you wanna do something to your body, then you can do it to your body because it's your body and what does it really matter to anyone else, you know? Again, I don't think you need to. I don't wanna be like advocating to get stuff done to yourself because this is the first thing I've ever had done that's like cosmetically, whatever, cosmetically enhancing, if you will. So yeah, I just felt the need to say that because I don't want people to think that I'm superficial. Okay, now that I'm actually looking close up, the bruising is definitely worse. Sorry if you're like sensitive to looking at stuff like this. Update on my lips. I'm wearing makeup for the first time with them and I do feel like they look a little better. They are obviously bigger than my lips before, so that is something to get used to, but overall, I think they're fine. Okay, well, it is day three. It's Wednesday and I got the filler on Monday and I'm feeling that the swelling has gone down a lot. There's still some bruising, but that should go away soon. Overall, I'm feeling much more confident about them. I'm feeling better about how they look. It's gonna take me a while to get used to them, but I like them. Again, I'm not saying that anyone needs them. I'm not saying that anyone should get them. I'm just saying, you know, your body, your choice. If you wanna do it, you can. You could do whatever you want, right? So that's my experience with that. Anyways, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment. And Emily and Tess, if you're watching this, thank you for all your help and everything and setting all of this up. So, okay, that's about it. Thank you.